Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use our Dado Rabbit gadget that we have designed for vCarve Pro. If you need aid in installing that gadget, please visit our website for instructions on how to install our gadget. So, we want to create a new file, and upon creating a new file, you will have the job size dimensions of the board. Many of the joints created in this Dado Rabbit gadget involves more than one board. This board that you are creating upon setup uh, will be known as the dado board. Um, make sure when you are creating this job that you use the bottom left hand corner of the board as a starting point. Once this job looks OK to you, click OK and navigate up to the gadgets pane and click on the dado rabbit gadget. Now we are in the user interface of our Data Rabbit gadget. A uh, quick overview of the interface, you can see uh, we have a drop down for creating several different types of joints based off of a rabbit and dados. Um, and then we have uh, end mill diameter, it talks about the size of the bit that you'll be using on your CNC machine. Um, the end pin width, uh, which as you can see is only used the Data Rabbit and single shoulder dado. And we have the height and thickness of the rabbit board and by default, these values are the same that was created uh, upon creating the initial board. So they're the same as the data board. Uh, then you have a clearance, and then you have a shift from X start in case you want to move the starting point uh, in the X direction any way you want. Uh, there's much more in-depth details on our website and our parameter section for the data rabbit. So if you need any more information, please go there. The first joint that we'll be creating in this video is the Dado Rabbit joint. You want to make sure that it's selected in this page. And we will set the rabbit board's height to 1. We want to keep the rest of this the same. Then you want to hit apply. And when you hit apply, you will see these recommended cut depths for when you're generating the toolpaths for the individual boards, the rabbit board and the data board. So Take note of these cut depths so you can use them when it comes to generating the toolpaths. Now that we've taken note of these cut depths, we can go on to creating the toolpaths for these boards. Um, if you want more information on how these toolpaths are calculated, you can go to our website and it is touched upon briefly. So after taking note of this, we're going to close this message box and hit close on our user interface. And we're going to want to create the Dado boards toolpath first. So Get rid of layer one and get rid of the rabbit board. And let's focus on the data board. And you want to select the cut area for the data board, so you can just drag your mouse and highlight over it, or you can hit Control A. Then we need to go over to our toolpaths tab and uh, hit the pocket toolpath toolpath operator. And you want to set the cut depth um, to what was displayed in the message box. It will not update the cut depth. I just had this entered already, so make sure that you take note of that cut depth as said before so you can put the proper cut depth in there. Make sure the end mill diameter is set to what you put it as in the user interface. Um, if not, you can just go in here and select and they have several different end mill diameters and you can create your own if you need to. And let's calculate this toolpath. So as you can see here we have the depth uh, the cut depth that we want it's probably going over, just over an inch into the board so let's go and preview the toolpath you can put it whatever speed you want we'll just put it on max speed and that is the toolpath and preview for creating our data board now that we've generated this toolpath you can close that preview tab and come over here to the save toolpath icon and we can save the toolpath to a flash drive or if you just want to store it anywhere else on your computer, you can do that. So now that we're in here, let's uh, just name this Dado Path. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So we click Save. Um, and now we're going to focus on creating the Rabbit toolpath. Now we are going to create the Rabbit Boards toolpath. So let's go back over here to New. Um, and if you haven't already, uh, make sure to get rid of the data board. 
and let's look at the rabbit board and select the layers on it. Um, sometimes you'll still have like the cut vectors on this board from the toolpath that we just generated. That's fine. It'll work just fine. Just make sure you have the rabbit board selected. We want to go back up here to pocket toolpath. Make sure you to set the cut depth to what popped up in that dialog box at the beginning. Uh, in this case, it was 0 0.9775, or excuse me, it was 0 0.9975. Um, make sure that is proper. Make sure everything else is as you expected it to be. You want to hit calculate. Um, you want to reset preview and make sure to preview the selected toolpath. So this just ensures that it just does the toolpath for the rabbit board again and doesn't go back to the data board. So whatever speed you want, we'll do it at this speed. And so now we have our rabbit board. So now that we have that, we want to hit close here and we want to hit save toolpath and then you can save that to wherever you want we'll just call this the rabbit path and again you can save this to flash drive or if you just want to put somewhere on your computer for storage that's perfectly fine and you hit save and now we have gone through the whole workflow process for creating the data rabbit joint now we're going to be creating a rabbit joint we created a new file and a new job to create this joint after creating our data rabbit joint. So I'm going to change the rabbit board height to, uh, I'll just make that 1.5. Um, make sure these properties are as you want it to be. Click apply and then hit close. So now we have our rabbit cut area. So you want to select, make sure the rabbit cut area is selected. After selecting that, just like before, you want to go over here to tool paths go to pocket toolpath um, and set the cutting depths to whatever you'd uh, like it to be. Make sure the end mill is as you set it in the data rabbit gadget page. Then hit calculate. And uh, now we have the 3D model and preview of the toolpath and then you can preview the toolpath for creating this specific rabbit and um, you can hit close and then save your toolpath to wherever you want. The process for creating the single shoulder data joint is very similar to the process of creating the data rabbit. So when you go to select joint, you want to hit select single shoulder data. Make sure these properties are as you desire them to be. I'll just make this 0. Point, oops, make this 0 0.5. Um, I'm just going to set the rabbit board height to 1.5. Just like with the data rabbit, um, once you hit apply, you're going to have a pop-up dialog that gives you the recommended cut depths when creating both toolpaths. So let's click apply. And now make sure to take note of these cut depths and use them when you are creating the toolpaths. So again, after taking note of these toolpaths, you want to click OK and close, and then go through the process of creating each toolpath. So uh, in this case, we'll just look at, we'll do the rabbit board first. So I can select the rabbit, come over here to toolpaths, go to pocket toolpath, um, and set the cut depth to what was in that dialog box. So in this case, it was 1.4975. Make sure uh, these proper, the end mill is what you set it in our interface, and the rest of this looks okay with you. Then we need to hit calculate and then we can preview the toolpath, the selected toolpath. So now um, you can hit close and save the rabbit path. And you can save it to wherever you want. And now next we will look at creating the path for the data board. So after saving this where you want to save it, you can hit close and we'll go back over here to new and we'll bring the data board up so we can see that clearly and come over here to the pocket toolpath again and set the cut depth to what we found in the pop-up so it was 0 0.505 make sure the end mill is what you put it as in the gadget in the gadgets page and then hit calculate um, you want to reset the preview and then preview selected toolpath and there it generated our data board so you can close here just like we've done before and hit save toolpath 
Next, we're going to be creating the house through data joint. Um, again, end mill diameter, make sure you have that set to what you want. The end pin width will not be used in this gadget. Um, and the rabbit board um, height and thickness will be, well, the height will be used to determine um, how big of a cut will be made on the dado board. So let's make this one and um, click apply. And we have the cut for our house dado here. So to create a toolpath for it, we just want to make sure we have the cut area for the house dado selected. Come over here to toolpaths, go to pocket toolpath. Set the cut depth to whatever you want, and then have the end mill diameter. Make sure all these parameters are set to how you want them, and then hit calculate. And then you can preview the toolpath and save it to wherever you want. So, this is just an overview of our Dato Rabbit joint. Uh, for more information, please visit our website and go to the Dato Rabbit gadget page. Thank you very much and take care.